Hey guys, I'm Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor and I've got a big announcement today. I'm so excited. So I hope y'all are having a wonderful Monday. We're going to be painting a birthday cake door hanger in just a second. But first, I want to make the announcement. So we are giving away a free birthday cake template to every single person who downloads our new store app. And so you guys are probably like, what, an app? That's so cool. So yeah, so we've got an app for our store now where you can browse all of our templates and blanks in one spot on an app. And so the great thing about it is, is you'll be able to shop for all of your uh, door hanger blanks and your um, templates on this app. You can go right now to your Apple store or your Android store and you can download the app. It's completely free. And once you download the app, inside the App Store, there is a birthday cake template that you can download absolutely for free. And the only way you can get it is by downloading the app. So we're going to be painting this birthday cake door hanger in just a moment. I designed it in honor of our Painters Clubhouse. Um, as you guys know, this month, the month of April, is our second birthday for the Painters Clubhouse. And so we're so excited to be celebrating tomorrow night on Zoom with our Painters Clubhouse gals. We're going to have a little 90s themed birthday party. What you're going to love, I forgot to grab an egg carton for my paint. What you're going to love about this app is that you're going to be able to get push notifications to your phone alerting you of the deals that we have. So on Fridays when we release new templates, we'll be able to send you a push notification to that app. So make sure you enable your notifications. Um, if you can't find the birthday template right away, just use the little search bar and type in birthday or birthday cake and it should come up and it'll show that it is 100% um, off on that app. So I know I'm going to forget while I'm painting. So let me go ahead and just tell you what colors I'm going to use on my birthday cake. I've got cotton candy. These are all Deco Art Americana paints. I have wild berry. It's a slightly darker pink. Sea breeze. A turquoise color Hauser medium green and I believe I'm going to mix some Hauser medium green with this citron green to create kind of an in-between color green um, and then lavender and dove gray and primary yellow so that's the colors I'm going to be working with um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pink to paint all of the main colors of the cake except for the like drippy icing um, and I'm not staying inside the lines at all. I'm intentionally just going outside the lines because I know that the second color I use in a minute is going to cover that up. So it doesn't really matter. So rather than be super careful, we're just going to hurry up and put it on here. Kind of messily. If you want one of these birthday cake blanks from the shop, you can get those as well. Um, those aren't free, obviously. The templates are free, but not the, the cakes. Um, somebody had asked what the difference is in etched and not etched, so I'll show you real quick. This one is an etched blank because you can see the design carved into the surface. And then even after I paint over it like I'm doing now, I can still see the letters um, and the icing and all of that. So I'll be able to go back and paint those letters on later. That's why I'm able to just paint right over the top of them instead of having to paint in between each and every one. Saves tons of time and headache. <clears throat> it's hard to believe that the Painters Clubhouse membership has been around for two whole years, but that's why we designed this whole template was for the Painters Clubhouse. So um, we're gonna be having a little birthday party tomorrow night on Zoom with our Clubhouse girls. We're gonna do a 90s theme and so um, I will probably have some big like hair and be wearing scrunchies or something. I don't even know, but it's going to be fun. We're going to kind of dress up like we're in the 90s. We're going to do some 90s trivia games and give out some prizes. It's going to be so much fun. Um, and then I can also send you guys a notification through that app when I'm going live. So some of you guys have text message notifications turned on. Um, and if you have, if you've been having trouble with that, you can get the notifications turned on through the store and we could notify you through the store ahead of time. So let's say, for example, um, like tomorrow, I'm going to be painting the Eagle uh, door hanger with the Uncle Sam hat. And so, for example, um, if I know that I'm going to be painting that on Tuesday, I could send you guys a notification a few days ahead or that morning to let you know what time I'm going to be painting it. 
and you could go ahead and download the template, get it cut out, and you could paint live with me if you wanted to. And so, um, just having that that app with the notifications on it's going to be awesome if you you know want to be able to paint along with me or not miss out on any deals and things like that. Okay, I'm just putting a quick second coat of this cotton candy color on our cake, and then we'll start painting our icing. And there's even some flowers on here. My allergies are in full swing this morning, so I apologize if you guys hear me sniffling and snorting. I've been drinking lots of water to kind of keep it at bay, but, you know, everything is blooming right now, and there's pollen everywhere. And my allergies are acting crazy. Okay, let me smooth out my brush strokes here and then we'll move on. Okay, let's do, while this is drying, let's go ahead and paint the base. I'm gonna do it with the Dove Gray. Y'all laugh at me while I'm shaking up my paints. So this one's been sitting there a while, so it had separated a bit. I'm just thankful to still have plenty of paint around here because I know that a lot of you guys have had troubles finding paint right now with all the stores being closed and things. So, um, I am running out of some of my favorite colors, but we will make it work. We can always pivot and use a different color if we need to, or make a color by mixing some together. This is just the little cake plate or tray that the cake sits on. So I'm just painting it this dove gray color. Put a second coat. There we go. So if you're just now joining us, click the link to download the app. You'll get the free birthday cake template. It's only available in the apps in the app. So even if you go to my normal store, it won't be available um, at a discount there. You have to get it in the app. But go ahead and download it. Let's see, okay, so I walked through the process before I went on here. Add it to your cart, go to the little cart icon in the top right, check out, like add it to your cart, and then check out. It's gonna show that it's zero dollars. So just walk through the checkout process, just like you normally would. And then after you complete the purchase, which it's zero dollars, like I said, it's, it's not gonna cost you anything. After you complete the purchase, go over to your email. You should have gotten two emails. The first one is from our shop saying, congratulations on your purchase or thank you for your order or something like that. Um, and then the second one is from a company called Send Owl, like a hoot owl, Send Owl. And you can, um, there's an actual download link right in that email. So click on that link and you can download your birthday cake app. So this is the color Seabreeze. And I'm going to use this for the creamy looking icing, not the drippy icing, but just the wavy icing that's on two of these layer cake layers. Wouldn't it be weird if I painted this and then was able to like get a cake made that looked exactly like my door hanger? That would be cool. For those of you who are cake decorators, I never could decorate cakes. That's why I wasn't worried about painting over the lines is because it covers up really nicely with this color. I, didn't, I knew it wasn't going to be a big deal to paint right over it. This sea breeze has a lot of like um, maybe base, base white in it and so it's not very transparent. Somebody told me the other day when I was talking about a paint on Facebook Live, I said that it was opaque. And I was, I meant transparent, but I get those words mixed up all the time. For some reason in my head, opaque means transparent, but it, I know it doesn't. It's just, I think that because you change the opacity of something to make it transparent. I guess I was thinking opaque meant transparent, but it, okay. This is the wild berry color. Megan says, I love these colors. Me too, girl. Makes my heart happy. I love bright colors. So we're just going to paint the drippy icing now. Charlie's annoying her brothers. This morning, it felt like one of those days where we had all just had too much of each other. You know, we were all like griping at each other. 
I think quarantine got the best of us. Yesterday, everybody was getting along great. I'm using a filbert tip brush because I wanted a nice smooth edge at the bottom of these icing drips. So that's why I'm working with that. But I have a harder time smoothing out um, my brush strokes with a filbert tip. So after I get these edges painted, or the, these uh, drips painted, I may have to go back with a flat tip brush and do a second coat because I'm not liking how not smooth these are. Okay, I switched to a flat tip brush. That filbert was making a lot of brush strokes and getting on my nerves. Y'all know that I love me a good flat tip brush. Is quarantine over yet? Somebody tell me if it's over. <laughs> Kids are dropping me batty. So let's paint our flowers and things. We're gonna do some purple. I'm gonna have to do a second coat on this drippy icing in a moment, but it's gotta dry. And rather than use the hair dryer, we'll just move on and paint flowers or something in the meantime. So I've got purple. We'll do this big one here, purple. And then we're gonna do yellow and maybe pink or something. This is the lavender color. And then we'll do this one, lavender. This is gonna be a colorful birthday cake. There we go. Oh, I forgot the candle. I wanted the candle to be purple as well. So let me paint that purple up here. Okay, so let's do our yellow flowers. This is the primary yellow I was talking about. It's like as yellow as a school bus and it covers really well. And this big bottle is getting close to empty. It's been sitting the wrong direction too long, so it may take a second for me to get some of this out. There we go. That should be enough. And then we're just going to paint these flowers yellow. There's one other flower down here. We may paint that one pink. Yellow and purple are complementary colors, so I think they look so pretty together in flowers. Okay, our drips are dry, so let's switch to the wild berry paint and finish painting the drips. Once you download the app, you should see the birthday cake template up at the top. You can click on it, it's 100% off, so it will be free. And you can add it to your cart, and then once it's added to cart, you can check out. And just walk through the checkout process just like you normally would, and then it will send an email to your email from Send Owl. So go click on the link in the send owl email. It may go to your junk mail folder. If you do not get it at all, go back and check and make sure your email information is correct. And if you have to, just repurchase the template so that it'll resend it to you. Because even if you go in and change your email information, it's not gonna just suddenly resend the template to you. But if you repurchase it, it will. All right, I had to get a second coat on that little drippy, drippy icing up there. I think my light pink paint was still wet the last time I painted it, and it smeared together and made it kind of a weird in-between color. All right, so let's paint the leaves on our flowers. I'm gonna mix together two greens. I'm gonna do Hauser medium green and citron green. Do about half and half. We'll mix with the bottom side of our paintbrush. 
The Citron is very transparent and really way too bright for leaves. Um, but the Hauser Medium Green felt too dark for all of the bright colors I've got going on on this door hanger. So that's why we're mixing them together. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, we created that template to celebrate our Painter's Clubhouse, which is uh, celebrating its second birthday this month. And we're having a birthday bash party tomorrow night together um, with our clubhouse gals in Zoom. And so um, I thought it would be fun to create this little template and give it to you guys as a gift for downloading the app. So I can't wait to see how you guys paint it. These would be fun to hang on a door if you were having a birthday party or just all month long if it's your birthday month. Okay, so we've got all of our leaves painted. They're gonna need a second coat in a bit. And I just realized when I was down here that I never did paint this little flower down here pink. So let me get my wild berry color and just paint that in. Too much togetherness with all of this quarantine time. We need a break from each other. My husband the other day said, well, honey, if you need a break, like, why don't you let me watch the kids and you can get out and go somewhere? I'm like, where would I go? He goes, I don't know. You could go and just walk around Walmart. And I said, what? And gather up all the germs? Like, I'm not going to just go hang out at Walmart. And that's not very relaxing either. Okay, we're going to go ahead and whip out the hair dryer to speed up the, the paint drying on these leaves. Um, so what was I saying? Somebody asked, oh. To, somebody asked if I could share the process to get the free template again. So yes, I will. All you have to do is click the link down here in the pinned comment or say the word link and it'll send it to your Facebook Messenger and you can do it after the video if you like. Um, download it for your phone. If you have an iPhone, use the Apple link. If you do not have an iPhone, use the Android link. Download it to your phone. Sign in. You may have to create a login. If you've purchased uh, templates or blanks in our store before you will not have to create one you just sign in using your same email and password that you would use in our regular store but if you've never purchased templates or blanks from that store before you will need to need to create a username and password and make sure that your email is accurate and then um, when you download the app it should ask you automatically if you want to enable uh, notifications click yes or allow whichever one it asks you um, because we will be notifying you guys of special deals and things inside the app that are only available to app users and then once you've got your yourself signed in and all of that go to the main page and there should be the birthday cake template right there at the top so then you tap on it and then you add it to your cart if you can't find it at the very top, use the search bar and type in birthday or birthday, birthday cake, and it should come up. Once it's added to your cart, you're gonna click the little cart icon at the top right and go ahead and proceed to checkout. You're gonna follow the checkout process. It's $0, but it's gonna walk you through it as if you're paying for it, even though you're not. You will not have to enter any credit card information though. Um, and then once you complete the purchase, it will send you an email, two emails actually. The first one will be from me. My Southern Adornments Decor Shop will send you an automatic email saying thank you for your order. The second email is from Send Owl, like, you know, like a hoot owl, Send Owl. Um, that one will have a direct link right inside the email that you can use to go and download your app. Um, it might have gone to your junk mail folder. If you didn't get either of those emails, it's because you entered your email information incorrectly. So if that happens, go back to the app, go to my account in the menu bar, go to your profile and change your email in the profile so that it's accurate. Then repurchase the birthday template following the original instructions. It will resend the download link and all of that to the correct email. <laughs> now that's mom doing multiple things at once. Ashley, this is an app for our app store for our store where you can purchase templates, blanks, painted door hangers, stencils, t-shirts, all the things. Um, and you can do it all in one place. The benefit to having the app is that you get this birthday template for free when you originally download the app, and you'll be able to get notifications from us 
whenever we release new designs or we put something half price, we'll be offering certain like special sneak deals that are only available on the app to those people who've downloaded it. Um, somebody asked a question. Do you have any woodland animals? Yes, I think so. We have like a fox and a raccoon. Um, we have lots of farm animals. I'm trying to remember what else, but um, yeah, we have different stuff. Okay, I need to put a second coat on this purple candle and then we can start doing all of our fun little details and accents, which is the best part, if you ask me. <clears throat> oh, and I need a second coat on my candle flame. That yellow needs a good second coat. I can't hardly reach it way up there. <clears throat> this is the 20 inch size cutout, by the way. The app name, Southern Adornments Shop. Southern Adornments Shop. I'm gonna get a round tip brush and I'm gonna use, let's see. I've got this color out already, so we'll just use it. The really light cotton candy pink and I'm gonna mix that with just a little bit of my wild berry to kind of create an in-between. And then I'm gonna use it to kind of do some accents on that pink flower. And then let's get white. Where's the white? I haven't used any white so far. Can you believe that? I'm gonna do a drop of white in my yellow, or not in my yellow, in my purple <clears throat> to create a really light lilac purple color. And then we'll just do some little accents to do uh, the flower. If flowers intimidate you, you pretty much just have to be able to do a comma shape and a seagull shape, you know, like a little thing like that. And you just do it around in your flower to create the flower. So you start in the middle with like two little commas and then you go out with a couple of seagulls on the outside. <laughs> That's probably the weirdest way to describe painting a flower, but it works. Okay, then I'm gonna get this marigold color. It's slightly darker yellow but um, it's good for accents, so I just need a drop of it. Marigold. Um, that may not even show up. I use it. Yeah, that's not hardly showing up. I mean, it is to me, but it may not be to y'all. It's very, very subtle, for sure. Oh well. Now, we need to do some accents on our leaves. Let me get a darker green. Let's see, this is Hauser dark green. It's actually too dark, but if I mix just a little bit of it with the current color we're using, it'll be fine. Gotta learn to be flexible when you're running out of some of your favorite paint colors. And I'm just going to do like a little swipe of it on my leaves, kind of on the inside and outside. I'm kind of mixing it too with the original color so that it's not too bold. Just adds a little bit of detail. Okay. I swear I have put like 15 coats on this drippy pink icing, but we're going to do one more real quick because it's still transparent in some places. I'm not usually um, a perfectionist or OCD, but I don't like it when when it doesn't look like I did a good job covering the paint. I don't mind it not being perfect, but I also don't want it to be messy looking. There we go. Do it up here. Um, let's paint the lettering with a paintbrush instead of a paint pen. I'm gonna get some black, and then we'll do some black and white accents on everything else once it's dry. And I'm just using a real small flat tip brush. It's like maybe a quarter inch wide. And we're just gonna paint right over the top of all of these other layers inside the etched lines. <laughs> so one of my tricks, if you will, to getting nice smooth looking hand lettering you know how like you have those odd little fringy brush strokes at the bottom of a letter? Like at the bottom of this A, I almost had that. One of my tricks is to push down 
flatten your brush out, and then when you get to the bottom, lift up quickly, real quickly. Because watch this, if I don't, this is what I get, like this awkward little fringy, it's hard to tell in the video, but it's, you know what I'm saying, it's like the br bristles, you can see the bristles, and then you have to go back with something else and kind of smooth them out, and it's just a pain. So if you just push down nice and flat with your brush, and then lift up right before you get to the very end, just lift straight up, it'll fix that. Um... Are the templates the actual size of the one you're painting? They should come out when you print them to be 20 inches in size, which is the one I'm printing now. If you're wondering, by the way, if you're just now tuning in, I am not freehanding this lettering. This is etched in the blank. And so I am literally painting inside the lines right now. And um, I'm not having to freehand any of this because my let my actual hand lettering my actual handwriting is not nearly this cute. This is a font. And before you ask me, I have I don't remember the name of the font. <laughs> but the, this lettering is on the template that you get, so you will not have to freehand your lettering either. And if you decide to buy the blank for it, it's on the blank as well. and then you'll get it by email. Um, let me get this last letter painted on here and then I can flip it. Okay. Oops, hang on, I see a spot right there that I missed. <laughs> Download it on iOS, good. Okay, it doesn't really matter if you get the email from me as long as you get the one from Sendal. The one from me may have gone to your junk folder, but here's what we've got so far. We're not done. We still have to add our finishing touches. Now I'm gonna switch to my Posca paint pens. This is the middle size Posca paint pen. We're just gonna use it to trace all of the details of our door hanger so that they are super cute. I'm going to have to rotate it around so I can get a nice straight line here. There we go. My pink must not have been completely dry. So now I'm just tracing the details. And then we'll do some on the flower up here, on the leaves. And then we'll do these. I'm not connecting it directly to the lettering. If it gets too close to the lettering, I'm kind of lifting up a little bit. So it's just a way to keep from having them all running into each other. We'll have to add some white accents as well in a minute.
Okay, so we've got all our black accents done. So now let's get a white paint pen, same size. And we'll do, hang on, it needs priming. <laughs> there we go. And we can do some little swirls down here in our um, tray. I couldn't think of the name of that, of the word of that. And then just do some cute little accents on our flowers. And then we'll do a little bit like our icing. I'm not gonna do too much on the icing. I don't want it to be distracting. And then a little bit on our flame up there. Oh, and I forgot to do any black accents on the, the candlestick or on the candle. So let me go back and add that. There we go. All right. Happy birthday, Painters Clubhouse. <laughs> Somebody said you missed the side by the birthday. Where are you talking about? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I fix it or am I still missing it? It may just not be able to be seen on the camera. Um, the side of the last tier. Ah, right here. I see what you're talking about. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. My husband has always said I do not have much attention to detail. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. Looks like you missed the button. Okay, I think I got it that time. Thank you, Terry. All right, so if you guys want to paint one of these yourself and get the template absolutely for free, I want you to download the app in your app store, enable your notifications. Please make sure you enter your email correctly. Um, take your time. There's no rush. <laughs> and then add it to your cart. This one is going to be, appear, it should appear at the top of the um, store when you download the app. If you don't see it, use the search bar and type in birthday cake and it should come up as free. Add it to your cart, complete your purchase and check out. You may have to create a login before you do all that if you've never purchased from us before or if you've um, purchased, use your same login that you would have used in our normal store and just log in there. And then after you complete your purchase, you should get an email from us and one from Sendowl. The one from Sendowl has the direct link to go download your, um, your template in it. So go use that um, to get your template. But I appreciate y'all being here. Come join me tomorrow. Let me think. What time? It'll probably be around 2 p.m. Central. I'm not for sure on that yet. But um, come join me and we'll paint the eagle head with the Uncle Sam hat. All right. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day. Bye.